But Sunak picking a team from a talent pool that is, well, a talent puddle, we should probably say. Rishi Sunak having to pick a cabinet from a talent puddle, a particularly thin talent puddle, actually. The kind of puddle that's left after two days of, of sunshine and no rain. A, a stubborn puddle, a stubborn and skinny puddle that has just managed to survive because it's shaded somewhere uh, like a mushroom under a tree. Rishi Sunak picking an entire cabinet from one of the shallowest talent puddles in history. I'm not feeling sorry for the bloke. I'm just reminding us, reminding myself that, that some of the appointments were probably necessitated by the shallowness of the talent puddle. But the Braverman one wasn't. Could have put anybody into the Home Office. Could have put somebody uh, impressive into the Home Office, if, if there are any impressive MPs. There was a bloke yesterday a Conservative yesterday, I hadn't come across him before. Jacob Rees-Mogg insulted him in the House of Commons. Now he's back on the back benches. Um, and and I, 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 I mean, he said some sensible and intelligent and well-informed stuff in the House of Commons. But if I check what his name was and say it on the radio, it'll turn out that um, it'll turn out that he is not worthy of warm words or support. So do you see what I mean? It's just it would just be so boring if every single day we we became the. Um, the righteous equivalent of a Daily Mail column and, and spent all of, albeit that, of course, the racism and the misogyny and the homophobia that typifies so much of right-wing politics must be called out. There are people on the right wing who do not subscribe to the racism, the misogyny and the homophobia, but they do all currently subscribe, it would seem to me, to the corruption of integrity, to the abandonment of accountability and to the absence of professionalism. And those were the three things Rishi Sunak promised he was going to fix. And for, for an hour and a half, I believed him. Did you? And if so, or if not, why on earth did he bring Suella Braverman back? And what does it say to you about the road ahead, about the Sunak premiership, the fact that Suella Braverman, having been fired for absolutely appalling behaviour, is... Uh, back in the Home Office a week later. I just had a text, I don't know if you heard my phone buzz, a text off a mate who is a political journalist to tell me that the Conservative MP I was just referring to is indeed a bit of a wombat. So, hey-ho, QED, 10.40 is the time.